Amanda, good evening, everyone. We're live here at the Coogan Pavilion behind me here in Edgewood Park. And inside that building behind us is going to be a place, sort of a sanctuary, if you will, for kids who've had some difficulty logging on. It's going to be one of the nine learning hubs throughout the city that will start operation beginning Monday. The goal of New Haven's Learning Hub program is to focus on students in grades one through nine who have personal situations that make it difficult for them to engage in learning remotely. And this idea was brought to us by a number of uh, nonprofits in the city who uh, I, I think very much have played the leadership role here. Each of the nine learning hubs throughout the Elm City will permit up to 20 students placed in 10 person cohorts. The facilities complete with free breakfast and lunch will be open to students from nine to three beginning next Monday. Our goals are to facilitate children's and youth distant learning needs, including technical access, support, supplies, tools, and other components of academic engagement. Students will be able to access the internet through mobile hotspots provided at each site. And should a student or staff member start to experience COVID-like symptoms, each of these learning hubs is equipped with an isolation room. On the city side, I can say our goal is, and we're working to fundraise for this, uh, to have this uh, funded throughout the entire school year. For now, roughly $130,000 out of the city's youth activities budget will be used to cover roughly half of the cost of the first 10 weeks of this program. And I'm thankful that this is the first step that we are moving forward to make sure that no child goes without a quality education, no child goes without access to internet, and no child goes without technology. If you'd like to learn how to connect your child to the Learning Hubs program, just log on to nhvlearninghubs.net. And of course, if you need that uh, web address, you can log on to fox61.com or the free Fox 61 News app so that you can get your child or grandchild or nephew or niece uh, signed up for it. What a great program. We're live here in New Haven at the Coogan Pavilion in Edgewood Park. I'm Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.